Hey everyone, how's it going? So today I have a few goodies for you guys. We're gonna go through my highlighters. And I have a couple, you know, not, not too many. But um, basically I'm just gonna voice guide you through some of the swatches that I did. And um, there's gonna be like still pictures and a little bit of video so you can kind of see how glitzy they are in full natural lighting. And um, I don't know about you, but highlighters are kind of my vice. Like, I pretty much just love them all. And I do plan on getting more and adding to my collection because I like colored highlighters. I like soft highlighters. I like blinding highlighters. I like glittery highlighters. I like pearlized highlighters. I like shimmer highlighters. You know what I mean? I pretty much just like them all. Um, at first there was one highlighter that I didn't particularly like after I bought it. And I'll just kind of let you know right now, I guess. Because I'm not going to say it in the swatch part. And it's the Becca Champagne Pop. Um, I loved it when I first got it. Not when I first got it, when I first tried it on at Sephora because it looked so luminous, so beautiful, just this beautiful champagne gold, right? Well, I got it months and months and months after it was already like taken off limited edition and then they brought it back as like permanent and I'm like, you know, the limited edition my ass, like live loves her makeup says. Because honestly it is, it's limited edition my ass. Nothing is ever limited edition anymore. Anyway, the point is when I got it and I put it on, it looked like straight up butter weird yellow on me. And I'm like, whoa. It looked terrible and I hated it and I didn't wear it for the longest time. But then someone, I kept seeing someone post like, oh, it's my favorite. Oh, I hit pan. And I'm like, really? Is it really? And I'm like, okay, let me try it again. Well, I tried it this summer again and I'm really loving it. I think the problem is, is that I was really pale when I bought it and I was more tan when I tried it on. And it looks better when I'm more tan, like a medium skin tone, like um, a Maybelline Matte and Poreless 235 type skin tone, if that gives you any reference. It's like a I think like a buff beige color so yeah now I, I really am loving it and it's beautiful on me everything else I pretty much loved when I first got um the Jeffree Star ones so the peach goddess and the Siberian gold at first I was like Ooh, these are not as blinding as I thought they were gonna be when I put them on but then I kept seeing everybody on YouTube was using a specific brush and that's the Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 brush. And I'm like, maybe I should try that. Cause I mean, everybody's using it and their highlight looks blinding even in these two colors. So maybe that's my problem. I bought it and girl, that was my problem. So these are formulated like a little bit more chunky a little more texturized I don't know if you can kind of see that in there but um because they're a little bit more flaky chunky however you want to say it like even this one it looks like I've hit hard pan but I can still pick it up with a more dense natural bristle brush and that is what the a23 is so once you do that you shouldn't have any problems at all. You can also use like some Fix Plus or um, my favorite is like the e.l.f. Makeup Mist Setting Spray, which is like super cheap. It's only maybe a dollar, two dollars, three dollars at the most, three dollars at the most. Um, and I spritz my brush a little bit and then I get like phew, outer space highlight. Um, but the other two that I have, which are Ice Cold and King Tut, they're more of like a normal buttery consistency like the Becca Champagne Pop and um, these go on great they go on great with anything um, they're super easy to pick up even with like a really soft 
fan brush. So these are great. And I wish the other two were just like these because I don't feel like I don't feel like I should have to try and figure out like what brush to use. But sometimes, you know, you do because not every makeup product is made equal and not every makeup product is going to be formulated to the norm and I feel like that's kind of as a consumer where we're getting lazy and we're not really taking into consideration that makeup is kind of like art there's different mediums there's different uh, canvases to work on and sometimes not every medium works with every canvas and that's that's what makeup is like just like you can't expect every foundation to work with your skin type so you can't necessarily expect um every method that you have that you put on your makeup to translate across the entire makeup product spectrum like it's just, that's just not the way it's going to work. Like, I can't take an Anastasia A23 brush and dig it into my ColourPop Super Shock shadow because that's going to destroy my shadow, okay? Like, you're better off using your finger um, if you know how to be gentle about it, but I don't. Like, I go in like a maniac and I mess up my foundation, so a damp sponge works best for me. So, I mean, not all makeup is created equal. But while we're on these, these are some of my favorite highlighters because they give a beautiful see it from outer space look right away if you want it. Or you can go really, really super subtle and all you need, you don't even need to change how you really apply it technically because if you're like me, and here's my favorite wisp. If you're like me and you use a damp beauty blender, you just go in maybe once or twice and then dab on, and that gives you a nice soft highlight. Or you go in once, twice, three times, dab on, dab on, like keep layering it, and then you're like blinding, or you put it on your finger and you're like blinding. Um, anyway, getting a little sidetracked, but now that we're on it, um, some other highlighters that I have are the Tardist Pro Glow, and I actually took out the cream contour, so here, here's the thing. I took this out of the packaging because these are freaking messy. The packaging is obnoxious and I don't like it, and I don't use the cream contour, and even if I did want to use the cream contour, it is, these are so, like, messy and powdery that my cream contour now looks like a disco ball. I don't want all sorts of highlighter glitter in my cream contour, okay? I don't. And these are not as well milled quality wise as they should be because you can see where a bunch of these like bumps are. And I'm uncovering like chunks and bumps and I actually had like a big chunk of plastic stuck in my palette too, like in my... Um, one of my pans, I think it was this one with all the holes, that big hole there. And um, so I just took it out. I just took it out. And I still use them. I still do enjoy them. It's just their application can sometimes get messy and the packaging drove me insane. So there's that. And then I have another palette that I kept in the palette, um, even though kind of a sucker for depotting things because I like to be organized but I'm not going to depot everything. I have the ColourPop Gimme More highlighter palette and this is supposed to be um, ColourPop's take on the Anastasia Beverly Hills times Nicole Guerrero. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, collab highlighting palette which was like sold out in a minute and it was like $40 and I just wasn't mentally prepared to pay for that. So when this came out and it was super affordable, I was like, yes, give me that. Thank you. And these are beautiful. They're really beautiful. Um, this one I have problems picking up 
it just seems to have kind of hit like hard pan right away so it must have been more firmly pressed or something but that's fine I just go in with my a23 brush like an animal like I am and put it on the rest of these you can grab you know a softer brush and put them on because they're much um, softer pressed they are beautiful they're very glittery though so if you don't like a glittery highlight you're not gonna like this at all you're gonna freaking hate it because these are practically all glitter um, but I think they're beautiful and they'd work for me and last but certainly not least I have the Kat Von D Alchemist palette now I put this in with my highlighters I know it's a transformer palette I know you can use it um, over your eyeshadows I know you can use it on your lips your cheeks your whole body and it's a transforming palette I get that but I use it like a highlighter the most Okay, I'm wearing some of it today. I'm wearing a little bit of um, blue sapphire. And you can see it on the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone. And it's not translating well on camera, which is odd. And then I have it on top of some of my um, Tarte highlighter. And my makeup today is Mombi. I just did a little uh, thing on... Instagram so go check my Instagram picture and you'll see what I'm talking about it's a little bit of Halloween so everything that I film in October is kind of like Halloween or extra makeup theme anyway this is the Alchemist palette now it's a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be like a lot a lot smaller but it's still really beautiful um, I use it mostly like a highlight so I keep it with my highlighting palettes I have started to play around with it as like a lip transformer and it's so cool I mean it's just genuinely really cool I highly highly recommend picking up this palette if you're someone who likes color and likes to play with um, making new colors like on your lips or on your eyes or um, on your cheeks because it is so fun and I don't regret buying it even though it's super duper small like I wish it was a lot bigger because it's that cool anyway these are all my palettes we're gonna get into some of the swatches and then um, I'll see you later all right keep watching okay so this one is pretty simple it is just Becca champagne pop and it is the only Becca highlighter that I have and it's the full size so this one was supposed to be limited edition, but you can get it in stores or online. And then this is the ColourPop Give Me More. Shades are extra, upgrade, bottomless, full service, bigger and better in total package from top to bottom. And these are my Super Shocks from top to bottom. Monster, Flexitarian, Wisp, Whipped, Frosted, Iced, Butterfly Beach, Candyman, Most Necessary, and Soft Serve. The Kat Von D Alchemist Holographic Palette. Opal, Amethyst, Sapphire, and Emerald from left to right. These I pretty much just use as highlighter inner corner highlight and I've been experimenting with them as a lip topper or lip transformer so they're really cool and then Jeffree Star skin frost now these swatch beautifully I did have a little bit of trouble with the peach goddess um, but top to bottom ice cold peach goddess Siberian golden king tut And then the Tardis Progo Highlight and Contour, that one is Strobe, Stunner, Lit, and Fire from top to bottom. Now these are more subtle, more glittery, very powdery, still very nice. And I'm back. So what did you think, guys? How many of these highlighters do you have? And which ones do you like? Which ones are not your cup of tea? And what is your favorite? Like, do I have one of your favorites? Or... 
Do you have a completely different favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Again, this is my Get to Know Me series, um, the highlighter edition. I think this is only like the second video or something. I don't know, but there'll be more coming. Like I wanna go through section by section all of my makeup to kind of give you an idea of who I am through my makeup because it's it's a way that I express myself. So hopefully you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more movie, some more movies, Jesus, some more <laughs> videos like this, um, make sure you do a thumbs up or comment. Be like, yeah, I love it. Yeah, this is my favorite. And make sure you subscribe. That way you get notifications. Otherwise, check out my Instagram and subscribe there. If you follow me on Instagram, I always post when I have a new video up. So that way, if you don't, maybe don't you, maybe you don't like the emails from YouTube, just check out my Instagram and you'll see whenever I have a new video posting. And there's always new content, different content on there. I try to kind of link my YouTube and my Instagram together, but I don't always succeed. Like sometimes there's stuff on my Instagram that's not on YouTube and vice versa. But either way, I will see you guys next time and thanks so much for watching.